Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturer in computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to add a Twitter feed to a Moodle course page. First, let me bring up a Moodle course page. Here's one which is completely blank for a module I haven't started yet. And let's assume I'd like to add a Twitter feed to the right in the centre at the top of my uh, page here. Twitter can be a very powerful educational tool and it can allow me to add value to my Moodle course page by, for example, bringing in feeds on particular users or indeed bringing in a feed about particular hashtags referring to, to certain topics. Now, I recommend setting up a hashtag for your own course. So let's see how we can add a Twitter feed to this particular course page. The first thing I need to do is I need to go to Twitter. So I, on my uh, second tab up here, uh, I've, I've logged on to Twitter and the exact web address you need to go to is twitter.com forward slash settings forward slash widgets. And that will display um, the widgets page that you see here. Remember, you need to be logged on in order to be able to do this. And over on the right hand side here, you, you can see I've created a couple of widgets already, but let's create a new one for our video. So click on the create new button. And that will display the create a user widget uh, window that you see here. Now, be, by default, it uh, adds a configuration using my own username. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the search tab. And that will allow me then to, for example, search for a particular hashtag. And I'm going to use the one, uh, one here, uh, defaults to Corgi Dogs, but I'm going to change this to Moodle. I'm not going to change the size. I'm not going to change the length. And we can see here on the right hand side that any uh, Moodle or uh, any tweet containing the word Moodle uh, is going to be displayed. So we've got two here uh, with the Moodle hashtag and you can scroll down and see other tweets and pictures expanded and so on. So any tweet containing the hashtag that you choose, in this case it's Moodle, will be displayed in your Twitter feed. So let's assume I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click on the create widget at the bottom left over here. And what that does is it now generates uh, underneath the Twitter feed um, some code beginning with uh, less than a class equals Twitter timeline. So good news is you don't really need to do anything with this code except copy it. So I'm going to right click on this and choose copy. Don't change the code. Uh, you could mess things up if you do so. I'm now ready to go back to my Moodle course page. So here I am back and the first thing I need to do is turn editing on. So let me do that. And I can add uh, that text or that uh, code, HTML code, to any place in the Moodle course page that allows me to add HTML code. And the first of these that I'm going to show is I'm going to use a label to add in that code. So I'm going to click on the add an activity or resource, scroll down to the bottom of the options on the left hand side and select label. Click add. Now this shows me the adding a new label window here and uh, don't copy the, uh, the uh, code straight in here. First, click on the Edit HTML Source button, which is the bottom right one here on the toolbar. That pops up the HTML Source Editor, and all you need to do then is paste in the code that you've just copied from the Twitter widget. Don't make any changes, just click on Update. That will appear here as a link, that's okay. Scroll down to the end and click on Save and Return to Course. Now what that has done is it has displayed my Twitter feed here in the center of my screen. Uh, I can move this around or I can place it in another panel should I choose to do so. So I've um, got full functionality here. Um, any tweet containing the uh, hashtag uh, Moodle is now displayed on my, on my Moodle course page. Now another option is, because that's taking up quite a lot of space there, is to add it as a panel here on the left hand side. Now I've collapsed all the navigation and settings tools here. So I want to scroll down to add a block. And when I click on the drop down menu for add a block, you can see that there's a HTML option here in the center. So select that. What that does then is third from the top over here is it creates a new HTML block on your left hand side. So click on the pencil um, icon here to edit this block. I'm going to give this block a title. I'm going to call it Twitter feed. And let's add the hashtag Moodle. As before, click on the Edit HTML Source button on the toolbar. That brings up the HTML Source Editor. Right click and paste the same code, assuming it's still in your clipboard, and click on Update. That also appears as Tweets About Moodle, a link here. That's OK. Scroll down to the end and click on Save Changes. Don't do anything else, only paste in the code that we've just done. And we can see here 
that our Twitter feed is now being displayed on the left hand side. So for example, I could remove the one in the center. Let me do that. And I've now got my Twitter feed appearing on my left hand side and I can add in the rest of my course resources over here as usual in the center of my uh, Moodle page. In the panel on the left hand side, I can access any of the links that are in here. I can scroll up and down and see what, uh, whatever is being tweeted about Moodle at a particular time. Any tweet containing the hashtag Moodle or whatever your hashtag is will be displayed here. So that can make your uh, Moodle course page look a little bit cooler and provide extra information uh, into the Moodle course page that could be useful for your class. So that's how you add a, um, a Twitter feed to a Moodle course page. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.